Hey guys, Miss Bass here, and we're here to talk about disc golf and how to throw a disc. Now, why did I not say frisbee? Because I don't have frisbees. I have spin jammers and I have foam discs, but I do truly say the word disc because that's the actual implement. So when they get older, they don't play frisbee golf, they play disc golf. And this is what we wanna get our kids ready for. So there are two ways to throw it. So you do have your backhand. Nick, will you show us how to hold the disc when you're gonna do a backhand? Okay, so do you see pointer on the side, three underneath, and thumb on top, okay? So will you show us how to throw? Now, when you do this, you can step and throw or you can rotate. Does it matter which one? No. Are you gonna be more accurate after a while of lots of practice with the rotate? Yes. But when you're teaching your students, you can step with the same foot as the throwing arm, or you can work on rotating your hips. So, Nick, will you show us first the step, what that would look like on a backhand? Perfect, did you see how level that disc was when he released it? Yes. Okay, now he went to go get his frizz, his disc, because that's what we do. Now show us what it looks like with a hip rotation on a backhand throw. So feet are planted, and he literally rotate twist. Very nice. So now the second way to throw, or another way, because we're only going to hit two today, is actually a forehand throw. So look at the way his hand changed on the disc. Thumb on top three fingers on the bottom, and then the pinky is on the side this time, okay? So now we're gonna go to a forehand throw. So will you show us what that looks like with a step and then with a hip rotation? I'm gonna throw this way, sweetie. Sounds perfect, I like it. See how his hand stayed forward? Set of thumb on top, it was actually kind of pinky more up. Loved it. Now can we see it with the hip rotation? Did you see, some people call it a forehand and some people actually call it a flick. Did you see his wrist flick back? That's how you get that rotation that you need for the disc to go where it wants to go. So here's the thing. Once you instruct students and kind of teach them how to hold their disc, then for the younger ones especially, we only use foam discs because um, safety, <laughs> but we do a throwing contest. We just call it a throwing contest and it's just to let them throw it and then go get it. So will you join and will y'all both be on the red line if you'll face the paw? Yeah, we're gonna go that way, okay? Now we're gonna do the, wait, scoot in the frame a little bit. There we go, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna throw to the paw, but you're going to throw and then you have to stay there and watch where it goes so you know where to go get it. And then I'll say, go get it, and you run and go get them, okay? So we're gonna do the backhand, so turn sideways, thank you. The backhand throw, ready, set, throw. Oh, do you see where it went? Ready, go get it. And so I, I really do these with my kindergartners and my first graders, and they do a phenomenal job of really concentrating on their throws, watching where it goes, tracking it, so they know where to find their disc. And then they run and go get it, and they come back and get ready. Let's do that one more time. Ready, and throw. Watch where it goes. Very nice. All right, go get it. So in kindergarten and first, I only teach the backhand. I pretty much do not get to the forehand until third or fourth grade. So your choice on that, your students. But now, will one of y'all put your discs off to the side and let's talk about how we throw and catch with a partner. Okay? Perfect. Okay, so um, if y'all will back up a little bit and go green and orange line. Perfect, that's really good. Okay, so you stand across from your partner, make sure it's a decent distance so you don't hurt each other, but it's not too far away that you still have some control. So we're gonna start with the, um, the backhand as well, but there are two ways to catch. So you wanna teach the big gator to catch. Once they get super comfortable, you can teach them the baby gator, even a one-handed baby gator, but always start teaching the gator to hop. That gator's hungry for that disc. So you're going to just look and make sure your partners, eyes are on you, make sure they have their gator hands. Those are the two signals that they must show you for you to throw it at them. So when she's ready, throw it. See how 
how we kind of loft it a little bit soft, loved it, nice, and throw back and forth just for a little bit. So that's where we gotta start. It's not about speed, it's not about distance right now. It's about accuracy of throwing to a target. Now, if you have students standing here doing this for too long, it actually gets a little bit boring. So we do a game called Switcheroo. So Nick throw to Wit, Wit throw to Nick, switch spots. Add a little cardio in there. Throw, catch, throw, catch, and switch. Now that they've gotten, they had four catches in a row, they did phenomenal, take a step back. That's where you can add a progression. Now let's see it, throw and catch, throw and catch, switcheroo, so they switch spots, throw and catch, throw and catch, switcheroo. Now they did awesome, they can take a step back. Now let's say that they actually dropped it, is that okay? Yes. Pick it back up, try again, but probably not a step back because that means that you just need a little bit more practice from that position. So that is throwing a disc, backhand, forehand, throwing contests with the youngers. With the olders, I do give them an option between a foam or a plastic just because that makes them feel more comfortable. And sometimes they start with one and switch to the other. I love seeing them make those decisions for themselves. And then we go to switcheroo to keep throwing and catching with a partner a little bit more interesting. So I hope you have fun. Bye.